members. It's the scheduled start time of the House Committee meeting, and we have a quorum. I call to order the meeting. First item, confirmation minutes of I meeting. Minutes of the 32nd meeting held on the 13th of August 2021. The minutes have been forwarded to members before the meeting. So far, no members have expressed any comments on the minutes. Can I invite members to confirm the minutes, please? Minutes confirmed. Item 2 on the agenda matters arising. Report by the Chairman on her meeting with the Chief Secretary for Administration. There is nothing special to report. Item 3. Business arising from previous Council meetings. A. Legal Service Division re report on bill referred to the House Committee in accordance with Rule 54, Bracket 4. National Flag and National Emblem uh, Amendment Bill 2021. Can I invite the legal advisor to take us through the bill briefly? Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Our report is in paper number LS110-2021. The bill seeks to amend the National Flag and National Emblem Ordinance to implement the, the amended National Flag and, Nas and Law and Nas amended National Emblem Law. Uh, so there is provision on the recovery and disposal of flags, and there's a definition of um, the, uh, insulting the flag, and then um, there's also, also expansion of the scope of prohibition on the use of the national flags and emblems. Now, um, the um, bill, if passed, will come into operation on the date of Gazetto. On the... Uh, 18th of February, the panel on constitutional affairs was consulted on the proposed uh, amendments. Uh, members expressed uh, support in general, but some members expressed concerns on various issues. The Legal Service Division is scrutinizing the legal and drafting aspects of the bill. Members may wish to form a bills committee to study the bill in detail. Thank you. Members, do you wish to form a bills committee? Ms. Dr. Priscilla Leung. For those members who wish to join, please raise your hands. Uh, Mr. Holden Chow, Mr. Horace Cheung, uh, Mr. L uh, Lau Kok Fan, Dr. N. Chen, Mrs. Regina Ip. So, uh, clerk, please circulate papers on uh, signing up for the meet uh, for the Coast Committee. B. Legal Service Division report on substitute legislation gazetted on the 13th of August, 2021. Legal Advisor, please take us through the report briefly. Thank you, Madam Chair. Our paper, our report is in paper number LS107-20 to 21. The report covers 15 items of subsidiary legislation. For the first three items, LN 147, 160 and 161 amend the respectively the road uh, tunnels government, uh, regulation, amendment, uh, uh, regulation, the Chingma control area general amendment regulation and also the Chingsha control area general regulation. So for roadside size buses exceeding um, 12 meters in length and 2.5 meters in width. Uh, so it's for both franchise and non-franchise buses, when they use the Chengma control area, they do not need to um, um, get um, apply for a permit. Now, as long as um, they receive a permit from the Transport Department under the Road Traffic Construction Maintenance Vehicles Regulations. The um, panel on transport was consulted on the 17th of November 2017. Members did not raise any objection to the proposal. The three LNs will come into operation on the 8th of October 2021. Thank you. For the first set of LNs, one Four seven one six zero oh, and one six one members. Do you wish to form a subcommittee? No. Please continue. Uh, the second group, or part two, that uh, involves six um, LNs uh, from one four eight to one five three. The LNs are to implement the updated uh, uh, technical requirements of the International Convention for Safety of Life at Sea 1974 SOLAS and the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships 1973 MAPO. 
So it's to um, specify the uh, in the, uh, the time period for intermediate surveys, uh, safety, and also well, there are certain fire safety requirements, and also uh, the requirements on drill for um, passenger sh ships. Also, there are the latest requirements on prevention of air pollution. On um, uh, the panel on economic development was consulted on the 10th of December 2019 and the 25th of January 2021. Members in general supported the uh, proposals for the first uh, five uh, INs. They will come into operation on the 15th of October 2021. As for the LN153 on prevention of uh, air pollution in relation to MAPO, it will come into operation on the 1st of April 2022. Thank you. For the six I, uh, six airlines members, do you wish to form a subcommittee? No, for now. Please continue. Yes, part three. It's a subsidy legislation to do with private driving instructors' licenses. Airline 154 amends the road traffic driving licenses regulations. So the commissioner uh, uh, for transport may um, determine a quota for a particular group of um, motor vehicles uh, uh, in relation to PDI licenses to be issued to certain classes of persons. These uh, certain classes include uh, serving driving instructors, um, serving and former ins uh, driving instructors of um, public uh, transport operators and so on. So the purpose of the policy is to uh, make the most of the expertise and experience of uh, those um, classes of persons I mentioned. Now, also to enhance the overall quality of driving, driver training for uh, uh, of, of driver training schools and so on. Uh, the applic the uh, eligibility criteria are to be tightened uh, for applying driving instructions uh, instructors license for example holder of um, dr full driving being a holder of full driving license uh, will be increased from 3 years to 6 years and so on the panel on transport was consulted in april 2020 most members supported the introduction of quotas ln15 Four will come into operation on the 1st of December 2021. Thank you. Members, do you wish to form a subcommittee? Mr. Ben Chen proposes a subcommittee. Mr. Eris Chang, Dr. An Chan, and, and Dr. Uh, and Ms. Elizabeth Court has indicated to wish to join the subcommittee before the meeting. So, clerk, please circulate papers. Part 4 involves three commencement notices. LN 155 and 156 are to appoint the 17th of September 2021 as the day on which the Chemical Weapons Convention Ordinance Amendment of Schedule 1 Order 2021 and the uh, Import and Export Ex uh, Strategic Commodities Regulations Amendment of Schedules 1 and 2 Order 2021 um, for commencement. Now it has to do with um, the latest uh, requirement, uh, latest uh, changes uh, for the relevant convention on uh, chemical weapons and uh, uh, strategic commodities. Uh, the relevant pen has not been consulted, as these are consumer notices. Members, do you wish to form a subcommittee on LNs one 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 five five and one five six? No. Okay. Thank you. Please continue. Yes. Another the other commencement notice. Is the Mercury Control Ordinance Commencement Notice. It appoints the 1st of December 2021 as the day on which the Mercury Control Ordinance comes into operation. The ordinance was passed by LegCo on the 23rd of June this year. It's to implement the Revan International Convention on the Regulation Control of Mercury in relation to the import export, um, storage, uh, use, and so on. For LN 157 members, do you wish to form a subcommittee? The, any member wish to form a subcommittee? No? Then please continue. Yes, la the last two items of subsidy legislation have to do with the regulation of private health care facilities. LN 158 amends Schedule 3 of the Private Health Care Facilities Ordinance. This is to clarify the scope of a medical procedure 
the amendment we have the fact that uh, when uh, a certain procedure is carried out in non on non hospital premises then the um the relevant um the um, hot day procedure centers must uh, have a license and they must comply with the code of practice l n one five it comes into operation on the 1st of January 2022. The last LN is LN159. It appoints the 30th of June 2022 uh, as the day on which some provisions of uh, the private health care facilities ordinance come into operation. And this involves the provision on operating a DPC without license and the ref related penalty. The uh, panel on health services was not consulted on these two LNs. So that's my report on the 15 items of uh, L legal notices. Thank you. For LN 158 and 159 members, do you wish to form a subcommittee? No. Okay. If I may remind members, the deadline for amending these items of subsidy legislation is the council meeting of the 15th of September 2021. It, or the 6th of October if extended by resolution. Item 4, further business for the council meeting of the 25th of August 2021. A. Laying of papers on the table of the council. Report number 25 stroke 20 to 21 of the House Committee on consideration of subsidiary legislation and other instruments. The report covers one item of subsidiary legislation, the uh, debt Line, the period for amendment will expire at the council meeting of the 25th of August. No members have indicated the wish to speak on the item. B. B government bills. Um, second reading debate to resume consideration by committee of the whole council and third reading. 1. Legal Practitioners Amendment Bill 2021. 2. Waste Disposal Charging for Municipal Solid Waste Amendment Bill 2020, 2018. 3. Ocean Park Corporation Amendment Bill 2021. Item 5, business for the council meeting of the 1st of September 2021A, questions. The list of members who have been allocated slots has been forwarded to the members earlier on. B, government bill first reading and second reading debate to be adjourned. Supplementary appropriation 2020 to 2021 bill. The House Committee will consider the bill at its meeting on the 3rd of this September. C. Government motions. 1. Proposed resolution under the costs in criminal ordin cases ordinance to be moved by the Chief Secretary for Administration. You go, Advisor, please take us through the uh, resolution briefly. Thank you, Madam Chair. Our report is in paper number LS108-20-21. The uh, proposed resolution seeks uh, the approval of the Legislative Council of the costs in criminal cases amendment rules 2021 made by the Chief Justice. Um, this is uh, because uh, earlier on there's an um, amendment made to the title uh, uh, in the District Court uh, Civil Procedure Fields Amendment Rules 2021. So therefore this uh, resolution to amend the reference to the title of the District Court Procedure, District Court Civil Procedures uh, Fee Rules. And uh, these are actually straightforward uh, consequential amendments. The, we have not identified any difficulties in the legal and drafting aspects of the resolution. Thank you. Members, do you wish to form a subcommittee on this proposed resolution? No? In that case, the administration will move the proposed resolution at its meeting of the 1st of September. Two proposed resolution under the building's ordinance to be moved by the Secretary for Development. Can I invite the legal advisor to take us through the proposed resolution? Thank you, Madam Chair. Our report is in paper number LS 109 stroke 2221. The proposed resolution seeks to amend uh, Schedule 5 of the building's ordinance and update the descriptions of the railway protection areas in that schedule. So the purpose is to include um, certain areas in uh, the um, railway corporation protection areas, that is, uh, the, the new uh, railway pro uh, protection areas along the Kuntong Line extension, South Island Line East, and the Hong Kong section of the express rail link. And also uh, is to include some railway-related underground structures in other stations. Now, uh, if the proposed resolution is uh, passed, 
then when there are building works involving ground investigation and certain underground drainage works, then certain requirements of the building ordinance must be met that include appointing professionals uh, to supervise the building works, and also there is need to seek prior approval of plans and consent to the commencement of building works. If the proposed resolution is passed by the council, then it will be it will come into operation a day of Gazetto. Thank you. Members, do you wish to form a subcommittee on the proposed resolution? No. Then the administration will move the proposed resolution at the council meeting of the first of September. The member's motion, motion on resolving social conflicts and eradicating disparity between the rich and the poor to be moved by Ms. Alice Mack. Please note that um, yesterday the secretary issued a notice in four members that uh, for the council meeting of the first of September, uh, Dr. Priscilla Long was allocated a slot for motion debate, but uh, she decided to give up on her slot uh, before the uh, that, uh, line of uh, notice. So therefore, this council meeting will only deal with one um, motion to be moved by Ms. Alice Mack. If members wish to move amendments to the motion, the deadline is the 25th of August to 25th of August, Wednesday. Report of Bill's Committee's uh, uh, um, um, the House Committee report on consideration of legislation and other instruments. Please note that there is one item of legislation. The deadline for amendment is the council meeting of the 1st of September. The reference report has been issued to members. If members wish to speak on the item, please inform the clerk by 5 p.m. on the 24th of August, Tuesday. I item 6, reports of bills, committees and subcommittees. Peak. Uh, report of the subcommittee on peak tramway safety amendment regulation 2018 commencement notice. I'd like to invite the chairman of the subcommittee, Mr. Um, Chen Kin Paul, to speak. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. The subcommittee has completed the scrutiny of the peak tramway safety amendment regulation 2018 commencement notice. The notice appoints the 17th of December 2021 as the day on which the peak tramway safety amendment regulation 2018 comes into operation to amend the definition of a tram car in the peak tramway safety regulation cap 265A and to increase the tram car capacity from the maximum load of 120 passengers to 200. 10 passengers in order to implement the upgrading plan of the peak tramway. Members support the great upgrading plan of the peak tramway. However, they express concerns about the financial arrangement of the upgrading plan as well as the fair supporting arrangement and so on after the completion of the upgrading plan. The administration and the peak tramways company indicated that the upgrading plan would be fully funded by the peak tramways company. As a result of the pandemic, there has been delay in the upgrading works with extra costs incurred. The whole plan will now cost more than 700 million Hong Kong dollars, and the target completion date is the end of this year. After expansion, the waiting area of the lower terminus at Cowden Row will be able to accommodate 1,300 passengers. The tram car capacity will be increased to 210 passengers. Under normal circumstances, queues of passengers waiting to board the tramway will not build up. On affairs of the peak tramway, the administration explained that as the Peak Tramway is a tourism and recreational facility. It would be best to leave the fares to be determined by the market. Thus, the committee will not move any amendments to the commencement notice. A written report will be submitted in due course. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chen. As for the commencement notice, the deadline for amendment will expire on the 1st of September Council meeting. If you would like to move any amendments, the deadline for making notice is 25th of May, Wednesday. Seventh. Position on Bills Committee and Subcommittees. As of 19th of August, Thursday, there are 10 Bills Committee in action and f 5 Subcommittee under the House Committee and 4 8 Subcommittees under Panel in action. Item A, any other business? There's not business under AOB. Meeting adjourned. Thank you.